What up, peeps and peepets? Morbtron back today with more Warframe, and today we're looking at Chroma, specifically doing a no forma build and a one forma build. I recently unlocked Chroma. It's taken me forever to collect all the parts for Chroma. I know it wouldn't want to take this long. From the get-go, I probably would have just purchased it with platinum, but whatever. What's done is done, but we're going to take a look at this build real quick. Now, I will make one, actually two points before we get into the build. One, I have no corrupted mods yet. Um, I haven't done much farming for them at all. I know I need to get on that. Um, but I have done, you know, sorties with this build, and I have done a ton of Eidolon hunts with it. Um, it's very successful with those. I will say that you do need um, a support frame with you, um, especially on an Eidolon kill, if you uh, feel like standing in a bunch of bad to get Vex armor up and rolling. Um, so there is that little caveat. Um, also, in order to make this a solo build, I do have a mod on my Dual Commas Prime, uh, Life Strike, instead of Melee Prowess. Um, it kind of gives me some sustain a little bit. You know, channeling efficiency is down, but if I'm close to death, that at least give me something to heal myself a little bit quicker. Um, so that's caveat number two. On to the builds. We're going to start with the one forma build. Um, now you'll notice I have zero capacity left. I'm using rejuvenation. Now, the aura, the former that I used was for the aura. The aura that Chroma comes with is a V polarity or a matter eye. Um, I wanted to use rejuvenation um, just because it, it provides me a little bit of self sustain at least. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm not to the part of the game yet where I have a bunch of corrupted mods where Chroma really peaks out in his effectiveness. Um, so I'm using Rejuvenation because of that. Now, if I have to use another Forma to bring my Aura back to a V later or another Aura mod, so be it. But that's just the way that this build is right now. Um... You'll notice here I have Streamline, Vitality, Steel Fiber, Primed th Flow, 3 from Max. Um, I have a Augur Accord, which I just kind of threw on there to give me a little bit more self-sustain again. Um, a little bit more shields doesn't hurt. I had two capacity left over. you notice this isn't upgraded at all because I just had two capacity left over. I figured, hey, why not? A little bit extra shield and the 40% energy spent on abilities converted to shields. Gives me a little bit more sustain. It's probably not going to be super noticeable, but it's there. Um, I've got Hunter Adrenaline uh, to give me, you know, convert damage into energy, that sort of thing. Again, self-reliance. Uh, continuity for 30% ability duration, which is very important for um, Chroma at all. You need it. Um... Otherwise, you end up spamming the hell out of um, Vex armor, and it becomes a real big energy drain. It still kind of is, with only 30% ability duration. Again, you need the corrupted mods to really make Chroma shine, but this, mod, this build does work. Uh, and then I've got Intensify and Power Drift for the ability strength, and the chance to resist knockdown just yeah it's a bonus um and then the no forma build it is a little bit weaker because there's no forma um i don't have a v polarity aura so for this one just for showcasing purposes i am using energy siphon if you wanted to use rejuvenation or another aura go for it um if you had a v polarity um aura you could even use my one forma build as a no forma build so keep that in mind. That's kind of why I did a no forma and one forma build because it's in the aura slot. Um, but you'll notice the main things that change here um, is instead of a primed flow, I actually have a damaged two points upgraded flow. Um, that's just because I I wanted hunter adrenaline. You need continuity. You need ability strength. Streamline really helps, and you need vitality, and you need steel fiber. 
So I had four left over. I said, hey, I've got this damaged flow still. Let's throw that in there to get a little bit more energy. Um, and then, of course, I didn't have any left over for the auger mod, auger cord. But that is the build here. I hope that everyone is feeling good, doing good the day after St. Patrick's Day. I didn't uh, do regular St. Patrick's Day festivities, so I feel fantastic and refreshed this morning uh, when I woke up, as I'm sure most of everywhere else in the world um, is feeling pretty, uh, pretty down after St. Patrick's Day. But we're going to get into a survival, and we're going to see how this build does. Alright, so here we are, we're at a minute 30. And I'm getting attacked by a bunch of stuff right now. Life support capsule is now available. Goodbye. This is what happens to enemy factions. Um, so anyway, this build works insanely well. Um, now, I will mention that um, part of the reason why it works so well is because of the uh, life seal that I have on my melee weapons. Um, it does add a ton of sustain to Chroma, basically to any frame, really. Um, so that is kind of one caveat to uh, this build, that it's not really sustainable unless you have um, either a support frame or you know, a melee weapon with lifesteal on it. Um, you know, obviously Chroma does get more survivability. I just let Vex Armor drop. Um, does get more survivability if you have the uh, corrupted mods to get more power strength. Um, but, like I said earlier, I don't have those yet. Um, something I need to farm for, but there's so much to farm for in this game that I just haven't, haven't had the time. But, for the time being, the lifesteal on, on the weapons does work fairly well. Let Vex Armor drop again. Uh, so, um, one thing that I'd also like to mention is that uh, th I'd really like to see a change in the game's HUD or UI so that for things like Vex Armor, very important buffs that you don't want to have drop, um, there needs to be some sort of cue on the UI that they're going to drop before they do. Um, you know, you can look in the bottom right hand corner. Um, to see, you know, what the timer is on it, but that timer is so small that it's kind of, I don't know. I've talked to some people about it, and, uh, they, you know, they said they run, uh, you know, like a macro, so that right before Vex Armor drops off, it recasts it. Um, I think, you know, that is a fix for it, but I think that, that, uh, DE really needs to... Um, put something in the game, you know, something in the in the in the UI in the HUD, not necessarily maybe directly in the middle of the screen, but something that's you know maybe center left or um, a little bit up from center that shows you know when Vex armor is under let's say ten seconds or something like that, so that way. You know, it's a lot less likely to drop off, and you can actually, you know, reapply it yourself and not have to uh, risk it dropping off. Um, you don't have to spend the whole game staring at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Um, and you know, you don't. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think that needs to be that needs to be a change, really, uh, especially if they're going to. Um, have any other buffs like Vex armor, um, where they're so imperative to reapply before they drop off. I mean, granted, there's a little bit of ramp up time, but if you're low shields for whatever reason, like it, let's say you're at yeah, under 100 shields, like I am right now, and Vex armor were to drop off, I'd be screwed. Like, especially if the enemies that I was fighting were even a little bit more powerful than the enemies I'm fighting right now. But, I don't know. That's just my opinion, I guess. Um, some of you might not think that, you know, having a, a key macro is that bad of a thing, but I think it's just kind of a band-aid to deal with, you know, the game not having 
anything in the HUD to show you that a buff is dropping off. Um, but yeah. So other than that, um, I do really enjoy using Chroma. Um, it's not a one-button wonder um, for invincibility like Rhino. I know Rhino's fun. Um, Rhino can be useful for taking down Eidolons and things as well. Um, but I like Chroma a lot better. Feels more unique, you know. And when you do uh, have the ability, yeah, have the ability to use this four, um, and kind of sit back and snipe, and keep Vex armor up if you're able to sustain that, that could be really, really fun. Um, use, uh, you know, kind of use the carapace or whatever um, as like a point defense, and then sit back and snipe people. Um, as I'll call him Mini Chroma. Um, zap your ankles. Um, I think it's, it's really fun. I've done it a couple times. It's not like super sustainable, of course. I just let Vex Armor drop again. Um, just because it does hog a lot of your energy. But, just one other fun thing with Chroma, I guess. Um, and also, this is like the episode that isn't meant to be. I've tried recording this about. I think seven or eight times now, um, and like the first time, my phone rang because I forgot to mute it, and then um, second time, um, OBS my recording software crashed, and then like there was one time where OBS decided to stop recording um, without without telling me. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. It's been great, it's been great fun. Um, or there was one time where I wasn't paying attention and let life support hit 0%, which it's like pretty close to doing right now as well. Um, so let's prevent that from happening. Let's prevent me having to record this another time. But we're at 8 minutes now. Um, and you know, with this with this loadout, um, you know, obviously Amprex is really, really powerful. You could use other things, of course. You could use a heck. Um, but you could go melee only if you wanted to, really. Um, and do just just as well. Um, especially with this lifesteal. It is very energy dependent, the lifesteal, but... Useful. Very, very useful. Let's not drop Vex armor again, that'd be bad. Um, and another thing I wanted to mention too and bring up, um, the other day um, on stream, I did a sortie and I got a melee ribbon mod. And then I unlocked it on stream. That melee ribbon mod turned out to be a, a, a ribbon for Cronen. And there is, of course, Cronen Prime coming out um, just in a couple days. And Cronen happens to be my favorite melee weapon, close to my favorite weapon in all of Warframe. Um, so I was ecstatic to hear that they were coming out with a with a Cronen Prime. Um, and you know, I was really really hopeful to get a ribbon for it, and I was planning on like buying a ribbon if I had to. Oh, you know what? No, do not damage it further. Use the synthesis device. I forgot. I completely forgot that. Uh, I was like, "Why would this guy die? What's going on?" I gotta, I gotta capture that guy quick. Where'd he go? The longer you fight, there he is. the more successful we will be. And you are running out of time. Consider extraction. All right, Hunter. I will reward you should you perform synthesis. Stop it. Uh. I have it. Thank you. Continue this on Tenno, and enlightenment will follow. Okay, good. Let me down. Let me down. Let me down, game. Life support is very, very low. 
My health was getting low there for a second. I completely forgot that there was a uh, capture target or a synthesis target here. Well, let's get to extraction because we're over 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this build in the comment section down below. Um, with there not being um, corrupted mods, it's kind of the best thing I can come up with. And I do really like using Chroma. And I think that uh, if somebody is newer to the game, this build can really help them out. So, uh, if you think it's good, definitely share it out there. I'd appreciate it. Um, but a like on the video is greatly appreciated either way. Um, either if you want to see more Warframe content um, or you like to build, please drop that like. It really does help my channel grow, get my videos out there, that sort of thing. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet and you want to see my daily shenanigans, why don't you just do it? Just hit that subscribe button for me. If you have anything to say, do it in the comment section down below. Do not forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.